in this video we're going to be looking at creating a thread in ANSYS Spice Glen. So you can add a cosmetic thread or a physical thread. Um, you can add a cosmetic thread very easily through the detail tab. Use your thread tool, click on the edge of a thread and we can see our cosmetic thread has been added. You can modify the properties on the left hand side um, by clicking on the thread and then the properties are in the left hand corner. Um, to add a physical thread we would First, I'm going to go into a section mode. So I'm going to select on the axis of this cylinder and just go into a sketch mode. I'm then going to draw my thread profile. So I'm going to use my line tool to do this. I'm going to start it. I know the depth is 0.57, and I know the um, the length of this is um, not the the bottom area. It's 0.2 mil. Then I'm going to just draw a, a line. I'm just going to just overextend it past the, the profile here very slightly and it's 120 and then the same on the other side and then I'm just going to just join these up so I've got I've got my, my thread profile I'm going to end the sketch editing and that should give me a surface that I'm going to use to revolve as a cut so I've got my surface in my tree I'm going to use my pull tool and I'm going to use the revolve tool revolve it around the axis on the left hand side we're going to specify revolve helix I know my pitch is one mil and I also want to do a cut and as I drive this through the part you can see it slices out and creates that thread profile and that's my thread. Um, that's one way of creating a thread if you know the, um, the profile and you're happy to sketch it. Another way would be to extract the profile off a, a free, uh, another thread. So this is a, an M6 bolt. If I wanted to extract the profile of this, I could again go into a sketch mode and using my line tool again, I'm just going to draw this profile so we can see that. If I end the sketch editing, that should give me a surface which I can then copy and paste between designs so I can then paste this and you might need to move it into position, um, but in this instance we haven't. So I'm then just going to, I like to overextend it ever so slightly past that so it's not quite coincident, so we can see that there. And then we're doing exactly the same thing where we're selecting our surface, revolving around a cylindrical face or an axis, selecting to revolve as a helix and making sure we select cut. And again, we can create our profile, our thread profile very quickly. So that's just um, a short video on how to create a physical thread in Anasis Space Glen.